So it's been about 90 days. It's time again for an Oathbreaker banned and restricted update, but there might not be much to hear. Hello, Planeswalkers, and welcome back to the Oathbreaker News. This is Chad, your host with the most, and today I'm going to be discussing the July 23rd article for the banned and restricted updates. The first card I'm going to mention, they've been testing for quite a while now, it's called Panopic Mirror. It is currently on the banned list, and it does have some degenerate combos associated with it. However, at this time, due to comprehensive testing, they don't feel like it's that dangerous to the format, but they want to finish up testing with a couple more decks, and then decide before releasing this card back into the format. If you're interested in Panopic Mirror, go ahead and check it out on maybe Scryfall and see what you think about this card. Meanwhile, they have been testing Professor Onyx's two card combo with Chain of Smog. Not only is Chain of Smog a card that can empty your hand, it can also empty your opponent's life totals on the same turn it's played with Liliana in play. This combo works by using Liliana's static ability to drain your opponents of life, and every time you use Chain of Smog as the target of your own spell, you can choose to copy and cast it again. This might seem a little bit deranged, but at this point the rules committee's kind of decided that it is no more dangerous or competitive than other top tier decks in the format, and at this point they're going to leave it alone. Next up on the potential popping block for the future is Jess Guy's Will. As most people who know who've ever seen this card played in pretty much any format it's had the luck to touch, it is highly powerful since it can give you both instant instantaneous card advantage and mana advantage. And as a signature spell, being able to maybe use the mana you generate to play it again and to store mob is incredibly scary. However, at this time, the rules committee has decided just keep an eye on it. So for the foreseeable future, it is still safe to play. I would say enjoy it while it lasts. Next up, we have some rule changes, or maybe I should say rule clarifications about a brand new mechanic out of Adventures from the Forgotten Realms. This has been one that's been bugging me for ages, so I was happy to finally get an answer. And that mechanic is Dungeons. Dungeons are not cards in traditional sense. They function in Oathbreaker much in the same way as they do Commander. Based on this reading of their ruling, I would say, you know, go ahead and play your dungeons in Oathbreaker, provided your playgroup is okay with that. Now, as a brief overview, they did post this other part in the article, and I'm just going to read it verbatim. In Horizons 2, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, these two sets have given us a wide range of new cards. Amen to that. The thing has immediately hit our radar is worrying. We will see what we find we add the new cards to our decks and play Magic. Next ban and restricted rules announcement is due for October 22nd, so I hope to follow up and give you guys an update then. Any questions, comments, or concerns about any of these cards or what you think, I'd love to hear your opinions, especially of Jeskai's Will's power level in the comments below. Um, this video has been of some help to you, and I just want you guys to remember, your Planeswalker Spark lights up my life.